grandkids. As you can tell, I'm not happy. Frankly, I'm the opposite of that. I am very not happy! Do you know why? Huh? I'll tell you why. Look at what I'm wearing right now. Not the sweatshirt, but this. If I asked you what color this shirt was, what would you say? Huh? Actually, I remember telling you guys in another video. I said, red shirt, because this shirt is red. According to my girlfriend, it's not red, it's purple, and that's wrong. Skylar, you're wrong, and I hate you. WHAT PART OF THIS SHIRT LOOKS PURPLE?! Colors are a very important thing, especially in the type of stuff I do with graphic design and video work. Everything is about what color something is, and if things don't match in colors, that's not good. But I'm not talking about colors like uh, somebody who paints talks about colors when they go to Home Depot and they pick out the little card that says the freaking name on it where you have like these really confusing things with like eggshell white and off-white and white and then light like gray that's pretty much white where it's all the same thing and you don't know what's what. I'm talking about math colors, computer colors, stuff they're using when you're designing things like websites and working on posters for promotional material like I do for a living. Because one of my jobs is to design things for people! Ah! What I'm saying is that computer colors have a system to them. A very, very specific mathematical number system that decides what the color is. All it is is changing the RGB values to figure out how much blue, how much red, and how much green is in a certain color. That's how you figure out what the color is. That's how you get everything from black to white to red to green to blue to gray. Everything is defined by those three values and you can use math to figure out what a color is. And when you look at this shirt, what color do you see? I'm gonna pop up a color on the screen so you can see. Is that the same color as this? Yes, it is! Now, when I ask you what color that is, if you say purple, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Because if you bring up a color wheel which uses math to figure out what the frickin' colors are, it fits in there. You don't find this color when you move the hue. Okay, let me take a minute and explain how this color wheel thing works, okay? If I'm trying to figure out what color I want to use for something, I use a color picker. And, uh, again, this is all using math in the computer, a very specific and organized and logical system to figure out what the color is. Um, on the side of it, you see the, the hue. The hue is what shade, like what, uh, what part of the spectrum that color is on. You see how it starts at red, and then it goes to like that pinkish and uh, color, and then you go to the purple, and then you go to the blue, and then you go to the light blue, and then you go to the green, then you go to the yellows, and then you go back to red. It's a whole circle. See how that works? Though that's the the color that something is. And then to the left of that, you see that giant box, and that's every single shade of that color, from white to black, to the actual color, the pure uh, whatever that is, like red, the top right corner of that. So every single point in that giant square is one color, just different shades of that color. There are thousands of shades. You can mix uh, any hue with as much black or white as you want, and you come up with this. So if you, if you want to come with a pastel color to put into some kind of project that you're working on, whether it be video poster, uh, like a logo, or a website, uh, you want to look at this color picker and uh, like pastel green. You're gonna want to like you know you don't want to just pure green. You, you pick the hue. You want it to be green. You want it a color of green. And then you take uh, in that, that square there. You move the little circle to one of the shades of green. Uh, you can make it very dark green. You can make it really really white green. You can make it really washed out. You can make it really pure and and very saturated. That's what you figure out with this. How close it is to white, how close it is to black, and how saturated that color is. That's what this does. Now that you understand how a color picker works, when I show you this color, the one that my shirt is that matches, what hue are you going to find that color in? Because the hue is the color, and then everything else is a shade of that color. Do you find the color that this shirt is? Under a purple hue? No? <laughs> Do you know why? CAUSE IT'S NOT FREAKING PURPLE! <laughs> <laughs> it's a red! It's a shade of red! And you go to the red part 
of the hue slider on the color picker, and then you go in the other part, and you pick a shade of the red, and then you find the color that the shirt is, because it's red! It's a red shirt! So I apologize, grandchildren. This message hasn't really been as oriented towards you as it has been oriented towards my girlfriend, Skylar. Skylar, this is a red shirt. Not green. Not blue. Not yellow, not purple. This shirt is red. Grandchildren, if you see me anytime in the near future, don't talk to me about colors. Anything else. See you guys. <laughs>